Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name's Katie and if you're new here, hello, welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a video where we're going to talk a little bit about the different special drills that Diamond Art Club offers with their kids. Now while Diamond Art Club's regular diamonds are super sparkly and really really wonderful to work with, uh, occasionally they like to take it up just another notch and give us some really unique and special drills that can beautifully enhance our canvases. The bonus is that they have pre-charted all of these for us already. So Diamond Art Club does hand chart every single one of their canvases, and that includes with these specialty drills. And so they have really deliberately picked out, these are the areas that we think this type of special drill would go perfectly and just take this painting to the next level. So uh, Diamond Art Club recently has been adding a lot of new kinds of specialty drills and I believe that most if not all of them are created in-house just like their regular drills are and I've had a couple people ask I see the question often posted in groups and stuff like that like what does it mean when it says fairy dust diamonds what does it mean when it says that this has an iridescent diamond and so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through all of the specialty drills that Diamond Art Club currently offers I'm going to show you what the drills like and look like in the tray and kind of give you a description of them and whatnot and you're also going to get to see how they might look on a canvas and the ways that they can enhance various paintings. Now, each of these uh, different kinds of drills are offered in both round and square shapes, and so we do have that available to us, but I'm not going to necessarily be showing you each drill in both shapes today. Let's start first with the type of special diamond that you're going to see in most, if not all, Diamond Art Club's kits, and you probably are already well familiar with, and that is the AB diamond. Take a look at the sparkle and shine on these diamonds. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these get their name from the Northern Lights because the Northern Lights have a really pretty color shift and shimmery effect. AB diamonds, like I said, they can come in a variety of different colors. This is one of the ones you'll see most often with Diamond Art Club's kits. Um, it is a white AB, but you can see that it has this iridescent coating on the top that's reflecting uh, almost mirror-like, and there's lots of different colors that it's reflecting as well. Like I said, this comes in a variety of different colors. Um, ABs don't just come in this white color, but this is certainly a really striking, striking option that you'll often see in Diamond Art Club's kits. On the canvas itself, you can see that these diamonds are even more sparkly and reflective than the regular diamonds next to them. So they really work well to highlight an area. They dry your eye to those areas. And in this piece where there's just this beautiful light effect going on behind the subject, that AB placement is really, really, really lovely and I think suits this artwork really well. And it's just stunning, especially when we have large sections of it like we do here. Another AB diamond in this kit is we do have this pale yellow AB. It's a little bit more subtle. You can actually see it right up next to the white AB, as well as another kind of diamond I'm going to tell you about in just a little bit. But we do have, like I said, we have different colors available to us as ABs, and this is just another option of that. Some are a bit more bold than others. Some are a bit more subtle, but either way, these beautiful AB diamonds truly can elevate your kit, and that's why you'll see them in nearly all Diamond Art Club's kits. Now, since we're taking a look at this beautiful kit, Mercury by Roy Tran from Diamond Art Club, let me go ahead and share with you the other special drill that can be found in this kit in particular. This one is actually pretty new to the scene with Diamond Art Club, and I think is already such a stunner. I really, really love it. This new kind of diamond is called a fairy dust diamond, and if you take a look, it's subtle, but it's there. You guys, these diamonds have a really pretty and subtle glimmer, glitter coating on the top, and um, it looks like fairy dust, hence the name, and you can also see that these are Diamond Art Club's new 26 facet drills. They keep upgrading their drills to make them even more beautiful. Uh, but yeah, you guys can see that these do have that really pretty glittery coating on the top. 
We have two colors in the fairy dust drills in this particular kit. And here it is in that really pretty silvery blue. You can see that glittery coating on the top. It's absolutely beautiful. The way that they're noting these glitter, these fairy dust drills on the legend on their color chart is that it just starts with the letter Z. So for example, on the label here, we've got Z3747 is the color code for this particular diamond. So, so pretty, so subtle, so shimmery. I feel like these almost have a similar effect to ABs, but are just a little bit more magical and a little more subtle. It's not that like iridescent coating it's on the top. It's just a little bit of extra sparkle. Up close here on the canvas itself, you can see how subtle it truly is. We have that really pretty coppery fairy dust drill just here doing some light highlighting in her hair. I love the effect of it. Um, we have some more you can see here. Again, it's a much more subtle effect, especially when you look at it right next to these AB drills. That copper fairy dust is, is more subtle, but oh my gosh, so beautiful. I love this newer addition to Diamond Art Club's canvases. It's also throughout, this is still her hair. And then we have the pale blue one down here, you guys. And again, you can see it right here. It's a silvery blue. It's subtle, but you can see how the effect really is different. The finish is different from the regular diamonds beside it and from the ABs up here. So such a lovely addition. I think it's going to give this really nice shimmery effect and can really work in places that maybe ABs are a little bit different of, from the sheen that they really want to give it. And uh, I love that they can make these in-house. And like I said, we're going to see these in both round and square options. Here we go again, it's right through here. Um, and I think that we'll be able to see this on a wide variety of different colors as well, um, specifically because uh, they're just adding this glitter coating themselves, I believe. So there we go, just a couple more. <laughs> So that is Fairy Dust Diamonds. I'm gonna pull out a different canvas now, you guys, so that I can show you some other special drills. The next special diamond I'd love to share with you about is called an Iridescent Diamond. This piece is Rainy Day Mermaid from Erica the Goobers, the artist. And um, you can see this Iridescent Diamond right here, and that'll give you a sense from further away what the, the look of that particular special diamond is. Up close, you can see that these have a little bit more of a glassy, almost crystal effect. And you take a peek down here, you'll see that there's actually, there's a silver backing on these that covers up the symbol when this goes down on a canvas and also really helps that crystal iridescent look really, really sparkle and shine through. That sparkle is so beautiful. Now, these are a really special diamond that I feel like suit areas like glass or flame or water, those kinds of areas. In this particular painting, it went in a candle flame, which I'll show you up close in just a moment. But this really pretty, it's like a topaz, like a light brown color is just really, really lovely. And just again, to remind you, you will see these crystals in these iridescent drills in a variety of different colors, as well as both round and square shapes. Up close here, you can see the way that these drills do look on the canvas. It does cover up the symbol completely behind it, but that contrast you can see here between this really like glassy, sparkly, crystally effect um, and that in the regular drills. It's really striking, and this has been charted in the candle flames. I really, really like this charting a lot. I think it suits it well. This is a really unique kind of diamond. And, and just to hop over and show you, here it is in two different candle and candle flames over here on the opposite side of the canvas. So this is a really unique kind of diamond. I love when Diamond Art Club does choose to pull it out. You don't see it in a ton of canvases. It is a relatively new addition to Diamond Art Club's 
set of special drills so maybe we'll start to see it more often but I really really do like how they've chosen to use it here now just as a quick note as well as far as how Diamond Art Club numbers and indicates these um, their iridescent diamonds get just the letter L in the front and that's how you know that this is um, one of those iridescent drills so that's how that particular diamond looks on this canvas let me go ahead and pull out our next special drill to take a close look at. Even if it's not the holiday season, any time of year is the right time of year to really enjoy and work with these amazing Electro Diamonds. These diamonds have a really unique and striking finish on the top. It definitely has metallic vibes, I think, and uh, especially in this gold color, so incredibly striking. That bright yellow backing you're seeing, that's just the bottom of the drill, and again, that helps just with helping that metallic look pop. Diamond Art Club does call these electro diamonds, and I feel like they are pretty darn electric. Now, on the canvas, you will see how these really contrast with and stand out from any of the diamonds around them. So of course, it makes perfect sense to have them as the stars in this canvas. And if you take a look here, you'll actually get to see it right up next to one of our other special drills, an AB diamond. We have a red AB and a green AB in this kit. But my goodness, that gold electro diamond is so incredibly beautiful so striking now this one is another one that is relatively new to diamond art clubs um their their group of special diamonds that are available to us and so we're just really starting to see these charted in a variety of their kits and they don't just come in your traditional metallic colors there's a really striking dark metallic blue electro diamond that has been in a recent release and i am guessing we're going to see some even more really bold and amazing electro diamond colors that are just going to take a canvas to the next level so these were really fun to work with and i love the way that they look on this particular canvas and i I just love the overall effect of them. Like I said, it tends to work well almost in areas that there are metallics, but even though this beautiful Christmas unicorn doesn't have any true metallic features, my goodness, this just suits the holiday vibes perfectly. So this is just one example of Diamond Art Club's Electro Diamonds, which do come, like I said, with the other drills in both round and square shapes and a really lovely variety of colors. As far as Diamond Art Club's numbering with these go, um, these have been labeled with K at the beginning. So K444 is um, the code that's been given to this electro diamond. So I think that with the K at the beginning, that's what we'll see behind these electro diamonds. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our next special drill. The next special drill I'd love to show you guys is actually one of Diamond Art Club's oldest as well, right up there with ABs. And if you're taking a look, especially what's in the tray, you're probably thinking, like, this doesn't look like anything um, super out of the ordinary. This just looks like a regular 310 black diamond here. Actually, this is one of Diamond Art Club's glow-in-the-dark drills, and this beautiful dragon, which the title on this piece is Fiona Butterfly Dragon, it's, it's by the artist Dragons and Beasties. All of the black outlining that you're seeing, including all the detailing in her head, is actually a glow-in-the-dark drill. So there is just oodles of this black glow-in-the-dark diamond all throughout this piece. This glow-in-the-dark diamond that Diamond Art Club offers is actually offered in a wide variety of colors. There's a recent new release that has six different colors of glow-in-the-dark drill. I believe it's Cats by Bridget Ashwood, um, but it just involves them, I think, putting a coating on the diamond that does make it glow-in-the-dark. Would you like a demonstration? <laughs> So you can see that we are taking an up close look at the drills in the tray and then this really lovely set of details in the dragon's wings and wow that glow in the dark is striking.
In case you're curious, if you'd like to charge up your glow in the dark drills, you can either leave it outside in the sunlight, or if you really want to take a shortcut, it just took me honestly like less than 30 seconds to charge these up using a UV flashlight that I picked up on Amazon. So that's a really easy way to get a look at how these glow in the dark drills are going to look. I love the Diamond Art Club is still charting canvases with these really fun diamonds. And uh, how fun would it be to have this hanging in your room and then it would kind of, I guess, glow at you at night. In case you were curious about Diamond Art Club's numbering on these, um, these just say E310. And you can see in the in the container here, they just look like a regular 310 diamond, which is just black. And on the canvas as well, you can't even really, you cannot even really see the glow in the dark coating that's been placed on there. So that's something really special about these is that you can enjoy them both with the lights on and with the lights off. So <laughs> anyway, I have one more category of special drills that I want to go over with you guys. So let me shift this canvas out of the way and we'll take a look at those. The last grouping of special diamonds that Diamond Art Club offers, I'm just going to put under a general category of other. That's how Diamond Art Club labels them on the website is just special diamond. Uh, they don't get a specific label like iridescent or electro or fairy dust or AB. These are just called more generically special diamonds. And this encompasses a variety of different special types of diamonds. Let me show you up close on this canvas. So up close here, you can see we have a couple here that are unlike any other special diamonds that we've yet talked about. We have this one up here that has like an AB finish on the top that is taking up the space of four diamonds and has kind of an opaly pearl effect. We similarly have another one down here that almost looks like a black AB finish, but is kind of oversized, like it's taller than the other diamonds are. It takes up four spaces as well, and we've got it here. And we have some of those sprinkled kind of all throughout this canvas. We have here and here, and we have some up here at the top as well. And take a little peek, we have some iridescent diamonds and kind of a clear finish hanging out in here as well. But this is just one kind, or I suppose two if you include the black ones we just looked at, um, of that category of special diamond. And these are diamonds that sometimes are just they're oversized. They have a really unique and special effect. Again, these have still been hand charted by Diamond Art Club's rendering team and placed in a way that really suits the original artwork and is just really unique to work with. Um, we have some other kits out, some new releases that have some almost like square oversized crystal drills that take up four spaces. Um, we have some more of these kind of like opal pearl looking diamonds in, in several kits already, including Galaxy Girl by Molly Harrison, and I believe Magical Mama by Manny Manzano. So actually some of these special drills have been around for a little while, but I think that this category of special diamond that Diamond Art Club uses on their listings is, at least for the moment, used to encompass just a variety of different options. And I think we're gonna continue to see a wider and wider variety of different kinds of special drills uh, charted in Diamond Art Club's canvases as it suits the artwork. So uh, I'm gonna leave this one just as, like I said, a really generic catch-all category for these diamonds that don't necessarily otherwise fit in one of their specific kinds of categories. But if you get a kit that has these kinds of really unique diamonds in them, like these, then it just is that much more magical to work with. So I do hope that we'll continue to see even more as, as time goes on. As far as numbering with this other grouping of special drills goes, at least for the ones in this kit, they were just noted with the letter Y at the beginning. We had the black and the white oversized pearl drills. Uh, so that may vary a bit. Like I said, this is kind of a catch-all category, but at least for this kit, the letter Y denoted that. And they came in a separate Ziploc bag as opposed to Diamond Art Club's heat-sealed bags, which 
the rest of the special drills we've talked about today, including this iridescent L5200, uh, those all came in heat sealed bags. So some of these like really special and unusual drills and unique drills are gonna come in Ziploc baggies instead. Now, my friends, this is just one current snapshot of what Diamond Art Club has to offer as far as their special diamonds go. They may very well add even more, potentially even very soon, who knows? But I still thought that this video would, and hoped that this video would be helpful for those of you that are wondering what are these different kinds of diamonds? What do these names mean? And hopefully seeing them both up close in a tray, as well as on various canvases to see how they're gonna look in the artwork itself, Hopefully that all was helpful and gave you that extra insight and perspective that you were looking for before you decide if you're gonna purchase a kit. There's usually sneak peeks or other unboxings of kits as well. So if there's a particular kit that you're thinking, oh, I'd really like to see what exact color of Electro Diamond does this kit have, or what do we think, like what? where's the placement for the ABs in that kit? You can usually find unboxings, often sneak peek unboxings, on YouTube if you just search for the name of the kit and Diamond Art Club. And most people in those videos will give you a look at what the different special diamonds in a particular kit are as well as where they go on the canvas itself. You guys, let me know, what do you think? What is your favorite kind of special diamond that Diamond Art Club currently offers? I am very partial to the new fairy dust diamonds, but I'll tell you what, these electro diamonds are so striking. I love that we're seeing these placed. These iridescent diamonds have a really magical effect, even though we don't see them as often as maybe some of the others. And then of course, ABs are just classic. Like you absolutely can't go wrong with an AB diamond. And I don't think those are going anywhere. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my friends. If you want to stay up to date with all of the diamond painting content I'm putting out, which includes unboxings, um, tutorials, how-tos, kind of informative videos like this one. I also share reviews when I've completed kits. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below, I would be more than happy to help. All right, my friends, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.